Hey guys, so today I'm just going to be doing a quick little first impression try on of the e.l.f. acne fighting foundation. Um, this is only available online so it's really really difficult to like figure out your shade and the packaging kind of hides also what the actual shade is. So let's hope this is my shade because I just washed my face and I, I don't want to have to wash it off. <laughs> All right, so let's try this on. I'm going to use my e.l.f. powder brush because I like applying foundation with this. So I'm just going to put some on the back of my hand. I think this is definitely probably like a buildable foundation. It's not like hiding any of my imperfections or anything like that that well. But I am also putting it on really super light. The color doesn't seem too, too off. It's a little bit yellow for my complexion, but a lot of foundations are. At least like drugstore ones. It's hard to find pink undertoned foundations. At least ones that I haven't tried. I know L'Oreal True Match has a really good one. Good selection. So this is without any primer or anything like that, so I just want to see how it actually reacts with my skin. A lot of my shininess is still showing through, but I mean, I have oily skin, especially my T-zones, so that's kind of to be expected. Alright. Well, I don't think it looks too bad. I'm not sure how big of a fan I am of it. It... Something about it. We'll see after it like soaks in and I set everything and whatnot how I feel about it. I just feel like it's maybe accentuating some of my lines. Some of my pores. Alright, so I'm going to finish my makeup and I will check back in with you guys then and hopefully throughout the day to let you know how this is wearing. I mean, so far it doesn't seem too bad. I am kind of liking the finish and all that, but we will have to see. Hey guys, so I just finished my makeup. I will check in throughout the day. So far I'm actually really liking the color and finish. Let's see how it wears. Alright, I'll see you guys in a bit. Hey guys, so I'm just checking in. Um, so far it's looking... Um, so far, it's looking pretty good. <clears throat> I do have oily skin, so, I mean, a little bit of oil is showing through, but it's actually, it's not too, too bad, so, yeah, um, let's see, it is 314 now, so, I want to say I put this on at like 11, so it's been a few hours, I've been out and about shopping, because that sounds so glamorous, right? No, grocery shopping. <laughs> Alright, I will try to check in later. Bye! Hey guys, just checking in again. Um, okay, so it's been a couple more hours and my face has gotten really shiny. And sorry, my daughter's behind me. If you can hear her, she's watching her cartoons. But, um, yeah. I gotta say, I mean, this foundation isn't bad but I do feel like it's breaking down and I mean, I've kind of had to like press it back into my face. It feels like it's almost like melting off. Now I do have it an extremely greasy T-zone. So that might have a lot to do with it, but I, I don't know. It, it's hard for me to say because I don't dislike it, but I like my other foundations a lot better. I don't see myself reaching for this a whole lot just because normally by this time of day my foundation is not quite melting off my face. <laughs> so yeah, I wish I had something better to report but I don't think this is going to last much longer on my face. I don't even know if I'm going to do another check-in just because I'm... I don't like the melted look. <laughs> so, for me, this is kind of a fail. Um, yeah. <laughs> 
Well, thank you for watching this video. I hope you have a good rest of your day. I'm probably going to wash this off now. But if you like videos like this, please give me a thumbs up. It helps me out immensely. And subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. Bye.